Welcome to this video where I'll show you how to calculate the net present value in order to decide between two projects in Excel. Net present value is underpinned by the fact that £1 now is worth more than £1 in the future. One reason is because inflation erodes the value of money. Moreover, by investing £1 in a project, this leaves you with £1 less to invest in other alternative investments, which is known as the opportunity cost of capital. To account for the time value of money, the MPV formula uses a discount rate, which can be calculated in several ways. In practice, a company may calculate this discount rate using the expected return of other projects with a similar riskiness. In our example, we have two projects that a company is thinking of investing in. Both have an initial investment today of £100,000. Project 1 has slightly higher cash flows, but only has a duration of four years compared to five years for Project 2. We're also going to assume a discount rate of 4%. Since we can't afford to invest in both projects, we want to decide which project to go for. We can determine this by using the net present value function. For project 1, we type equals MPV, first input the discount rate, followed by the future cash flows. We can then close brackets. Now before we click enter, we need to deduct the initial investment figure in order to give us the net present value. Since this is already showing as a negative, we will add this instead of subtract it. Therefore, the net present value of project one is 6,937.65, which is the value we would capture today by investing in this project. To calculate the net present value of project two, we can once again type equals MPV, input the discount rates, followed by the future cash flows, and then deducts the initial investment. Project 2 returns a higher net present value than Project 1. Therefore, if we're making our decision purely from a financial perspective, we would go for Project 2 instead of Project 1, as the MPV is higher. Now, you may be wondering how the net present value function works. Well, we first find the present value of all future cash flows by discounting each cash flow back to its present value, and then add up all of these figures. We then subtract the initial investment to give the net present value. Let me demonstrate how this works. So we take the cash flow in year one and divide it by one plus the discount rate to the power of the year we're in, which is one. Now, before we close brackets, we're going to add absolute references to the discount rate to ensure this remains static. We can now drag this formula down to the below cells. Therefore, in year five, for example, the present value of the cash flow is 20,000 divided by one plus 4% to the power of the year, which is five. We can then add all of these outputs together and finally deduct the initial investments. As you can see, this gives the same net present value as the one returned using the MPV function. So that's how you can calculate the MPV to decide between two projects in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.